Pisces. Welcome to your weekly love reading for Pisces, Sun, so Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is actually from now until the end of September. I know I already did it up through the 21st, but guys, it's just for organizational purposes. But we had a lot of timeline changes, so that's also why I'm doing this. Um, so yeah. Hi, guys. I'm back. It was real damn good to be back. I can't even tell you. Um, so for my newbies, hello. I always go over my meditative session first, and then I go ahead and get into the cards. Now, I'm starting to do this new thing where I used to have a pre-shuffle, and I kind of miss that. So instead of just doing the pre-shuffle and then hitting record, I'm going to be doing it with you guys. That way, messages come through, and I don't have to remember them. <laughs> I don't have to try to hold on to them uh, and get through all my intro and everything. So let's go ahead and get, in and get into what I picked up on in the meditative session. Pisces, it was really interesting what I saw, okay? First of all, a lot of wolf imagery a lot a lot of wolf imagery the first thing i did see though that was a little disconcerting i actually saw a really pissed off wolf like really fucking mad okay and and keep in mind guys when i pick up on energy during meditation it's energy that you could be experiencing directly or energy from people in, in your environment or people that you are energetically attached to and it can be vice versa so pisces you know for my cross watchers it could be the pisces kind of acting this like angry way towards you. So just keep that in mind. Um, I saw a really fucking pissed off wolf, but it was interesting because it was very like wintry. It was like there was snow everywhere and there was like a little like, like a, like what is that? Like a water bank? It's like, a, yeah, I guess it's like a water bank is the best way to describe that. And it was on the other side and it was almost like it couldn't cross. Pisces, there's this energy of wherever you're going, Wherever you're going, whatever you're progressing into, you can't take that energy with you, whatever that energy is, whether it's a toxic person or persons, because it could be multiple people, toxic person, toxic persons, or even just like some really gnarly um, wounded energy within yourself. You know, it's whatever that is, it feels very toxic. It's very, very toxic. It's very festery kind of energy whether it's relating to people or just something within yourself, it's something you can't take with you where you're going. And some of you might have been stuck in that little water bank for a while, just kind of looking at this angry wolf, like, what do I do, right? Some of you might have felt like, I can't really move until I, I, I take this with me. You can't take it with you, Pisces. You can't take it with you, whatever it is, whoever it is. Because like I said, some of you, it's just something within. Others, it's people or a person. And then I saw the Ace of Pentacles, which was really nice. I like seeing that for my Pisceans. Right after the Ace of Pentacles, it was like springtime. And I was like, whoa. So Pisces, a lot of you are going through, just on word, a lot of you are going through a major transition of like wintry, kind of like hermity, within, introverted, and like, you know, it's a little like death energy too. A lot of you might resonate with the Scorpio reading actually. Um, kind of energy to spring, abundance, blossoming, new, 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 new. Ace of Pentacles is very much springtime energy. You know, and it is abundance and it's new opportunities. And Pisces, we just had this Pisces full moon. We're still in this energy until the next full moon, but every day it kind of pitters out, right? But this energy, I think, has really helped you to come to an understanding of what that angry inner wolf is or who that is in your life. Again, for some, it's multiple people. And it's like, okay, you can't cross. You can't cross that water bank. I can't take you with me. I got to go into springtime. You know, it's definitely that kind of energy. So Pisces, I love that for you guys. I absolutely love that for you. I did also see a train. A lot of you could be uh, traveling, but I feel like it's more about your progression more so than travel, but a lot of you could be traveling. Okay. Um, so, okay. Seriously, that happened in the Scorpio weekly and that happened in the Scorpio partner reading. And now that's happened in Pisces. <laughs> Stop it. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get into the pre-shuffle here. Let's get into the pre-shuffle for you guys. Oh, by the way, the deck that I'm using, someone did send it to my P.O. box, but there was no name. So thank you to whoever sent me this deck. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it. And I'm, I'm appreciating appreciating using it. Excuse me. Tim, I also have your deck right here. I'll be using it for clarifiers in this, in this reading. <coughs> okay. Let's get into this pre-shuffle here, guys. <sighs> Please let messages of truth, healing, and love to come forward for those who need it. For Pisces, someone rising Venus, and Jupiter. From now to the rest of September. From now to the rest of September. Regarding love. Any messages for Pisces? Oh, show me the Six of Swords. Any messages for Pisces? Please allow messages of truth, healing, and love to come forward for Pisces, someone rising Venus, and Jupiter. From now to the end of September, for those who need it, please. I don't have any cards out yet. Hmm. Am I picking up on a past life? 
feel like I'm picking up on a past life here. Hold on. This is interesting because I feel like I've seen this before. Like, not on YouTube. I feel like I've seen this before in, like, some visions that I've had. Uh, oh, okay, actually, I'm not going to get into that. Um, not going to get into that. I'm not going to get into that. I know why they're showing that to me. Don't worry about it, guys. Don't worry about it. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not for this. It's not appropriate for this. Okay. Keeping it going. Keeping it going. Don't know why they showed me that. No, I do know why they showed me that. Okay. Focusing back on you, Pisces. <laughs> Sorry. Focusing back on you. Focusing back on you. Focusing back on you. All right. Please love messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it to come through. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter from now to the end of September. It's, it's about a Pisces I know, so don't worry about it. That's why it came through. And I'm like, oh, no, I know that person. I'm going to save that for that person <laughs> when I see that person. Okay? All right. Please love messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it to come through for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter from now to the end of September regarding love. Mm. But they did show me the Six of Swords, Pisces. So you're really coming to a place of calm and a place of peace with, with some decisions you've had to make and some truths you have, you've had to accept about yourself or your situation. Remember, springtime. Springtime, man. You're coming into springtime and fall, <laughs> essentially. Keep in mind, guys, energy, we all, we all are subject to the same energy at the same time. We just work through it differently, okay, at different times. Some of you are going to be ahead of this energy right here as I'm reading it, and some of you are going to be behind this energy. So just know that. Oh. Nine of Swords. Uh, Nine of Swords. Yeah, this is for you, the Pisceans, who are still at that water bank with that angry wolf. It's giving you anxiety because you know you have to leave it behind. And you just don't know how. Some of you are going to take some time to figure out how you're going to leave this angry wolf behind. I'm saying angry wolf to just encompass the energy, okay, of festery, wounded energy within yourself or a person you have to leave behind or persons you have to leave behind, okay? So me, this is a family thing. Please let messages of truth, healing, and love to come forward for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter from now to the end of September. Messages for those who need it, please. Messages for those who need it. Messages of truth, healing, and love. Seven of Cups. Oh, man. Confusion. Scorpionic energy. Oh, you don't know how you don't you don't know how to leave this behind. Pisces, some of you are really struggling with this. Others, I feel like you've already you've already done it. Some of you already feel like you're holding on to your Ace of Pentacles and you're going into your springtime. This is for those who like, I, I can't. Like, this is for those who are like, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to leave this wolf behind. And again, it's like angry wolf. It's like shadow wolf. It's not, it's not that divine teacher, intuitive wisdom wolf. It's like a shadow wolf, okay? Please love messages of truth, healing, and love to come forward for those who need it. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter from now to the end of September regarding love. I can see you guys. Some of you are like seriously standing there and like it's, a, it's almost like you're getting more and more buried. Okay, that's what this is. The longer you stand there facing down this wolf that you know you need to leave behind, the more you're kind of sinking in the snow. Like it's just snow is building up over you. You're going to get buried in this anxiety if you do not leave this wolf behind. Person, persons, or inner wounding, okay? Springtime's waiting. Springtime's right there. Your Ace of Pentacles is right there. You literally just have to turn around and start walking. Some of you, this is a very cathartic kind of period of time where you are kind of facing your wounds. It's just taking some time. But some of you, I really feel like it's, it's like a, it's fear to face it. Fear to face it or fear to leave it or them or like them in singular and plural behind. Please allow messages of truth, healing, and love to come forward for those who need it. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter from now to the end of September. Ooh. Justice. Libra energy. Pisces, you know what you gotta do. You know. You know, you know, you know. And you know once you do, you're gonna feel so balanced. You're gonna feel so happy. And you're gonna go into springtime, okay? Um, 
I can feel not too many more cards want to come out, so I think we should just get started. But yeah, look at this energy, guys. That Seven of Cups and the Nine of Swords. Do not leave yourself so trapped in this energy, because you already know, Pisces, you already know what's best for you and what you got to do, and you got to leave that wounding behind, that person or persons behind, and walk into your springtime. You know you have, you know, you just know. You just know, all right? Pisces, let's go ahead and get started in your reading. Keep in mind, these are very general readings that not mess all messages will resonate for everybody, okay? Because as I said, the intention, it's for messages um, that need to be heard. So it's not gonna be for everyone. So just know that. I do get multiple messages sometimes for different people. So stick around, there could be something for you. Even if it's just a sentence that resonates with you, take it home with you. You're hearing it for a reason, okay? Um, also, guys, like I said, energy can be reversed or vice versa, so switch the roles if you have to, if it's resonating. Also, don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. Nothing is gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy, okay? All right, Pisces, let's do this. Any messages for Pisces? Any messages for Pisces regarding love? Why is my hair getting caught in my mouth? I'm like, I'm not even moving. How is that happening? <coughs> Um, oh, thank you, spirit. <laughs> Pisces, some of, like you or someone you're connected to kind of feels like putting words in your mouth. I don't know what that's about. Like you feel like someone's putting words in your mouth or making a lot of accusations, making a lot of accusations. Like I never said that. That's not what I said. It's kind of like that. But it's because they're trying to cope with their own reality. But yeah, whoever this is, Whoever is putting words in your mouth, Pisces, again, keep in mind it can't be vice versa. Whoever's putting words in your mouth, it's because they can't deal with their own reality. And so it's like their way of coping with shit is kind of to make shit up. And it's not through any fault of their own. They just, they have trouble coping, okay? They have trouble coping with reality sometimes. And I'm not saying this person's crazy. I just think that they have a lot of wounding themselves. And instead of facing that, they just find it easier to kind of, I don't wanna say make their own reality, but it's kinda of how it is. Yeah, it's kinda of how, it, kind of how it is, okay? For some of you, that's a family member. Any messages for Pisces? Ah, okay. Any messages for Pisces regarding love from now to the end of September? Any messages for Pisces regarding love from now to the end of September? Any messages for Pisces regarding love from now to the end of September? Any messages for Pisces regarding love from now to the end of September? Why are they showing me a dagger? Hold on. Dagger very specifically, and they're telling me no, it's dagger. Because like when I first saw it, I was tempted to say the the uh, sword of truth, the ace of swords. And I said no, dagger. It's a dagger. I actually don't know what dagger spiritually is indicating. Let's see intuitively what I can get from that. Why are you showing me a dagger? Time to cut. Okay. Oh, now they're showing me the blade from um, the shaman deck. Yeah. So this is a t this is basically just a spiritual tool of cutting and forging destruction and creation in truth oh okay that's a pretty powerful message <laughs> any other messages for pisces <coughs> seriously guys swallowed some hair <coughs> oh god someone's choking on their words man someone's choking on their lies someone's choking on their lies any messages for pisces regarding love from now to the end of september any messages for Pisces regarding love from now to the end of September? Pisces, for a lot of you, I really feel like, again, I'm like, family keeps coming up. <clears throat> there, For some of you, there's only for some of you Pisceans, there's something going on with you that's making your family have to face some truth here. And people are choking on their lies. Whew, people are choking on their lies. Any messages for Pisces? Whoa. You're starting out with two majors, Pisces. The Hierophant in reverse, which is Taurian energy, and the Tower in reverse. Scorpionic energy could also be Aries because this is Mars influence here. Wow. I really feel like this is total destruction of bonds and contracts and agreements. For some of these are even like soul contracts. Hold on a second. Why can't I pick up these cards? <laughs> Come back. I really feel a total severing of contracts, agreements, and bonds 
promises broken fucking broken and obliterated oh my god pisces some of you are doing this with that dagger energy by walking away from the festery wolf inside of you or these festery wolves or wolf right whoever, whoever or whatever that is to you you're severing the bond you're severing it you're like i'm done i'm done I don't need this. This serves no purpose for me. I'm going into my goddamn springtime and I'm not taking you with me because I can't take you with me. And if I want this, I got to leave you here. Ooh, Pisces. I like it. It's very decisive. Very confident. I like it. I really like it. Ooh, nice. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Any other messages for Pisces? Any other messages for Pisces regarding love from now to the end of September? You're breaking the chain, Pisces, and I like it. Any other messages for Pisces regarding love from now to the end of September? Wow, you guys got all reversals. Magician in reverse. Pi uh, I almost said Piscean energy. It's not feeling like this is probably you, Pisces. Mercurial energy. So Virgo, Gemini could also be Aquarius or Scorpio for me as a reader. Divine masculine energy as well. It's interesting that it's in reverse, because in reverse, I would read that as kind of like a trickster or someone who's struggling to manifest. But Pisces, I actually feel like Hang in there with me, but this is just what I'm getting intuitively. You're being looked at as a trickster. You're being looked at as deceptive for breaking these bonds, for breaking these ties, breaking these bonds. But Pisces, it's the right thing for you, okay? It's the right thing for you. And it's like, I don't give a fuck how you see me. I'm doing what's best for me. I like it. But you are being seen as a bit of a, a manipulator, just saying. I'm just saying that's how people are seeing you whether it's true or not whether it's true or not people are having a hard time trusting you right now but I think that's just because you're really taking charge of your life taking charge of your wounding and taking oh responsibility Ooh, Pisces taking responsibility for your life and what's best for you and if that means leaving behind festery people or energy who gives a shit if they see you as a trickster or, man or a manipulator right I just heard Loki that's interesting I just heard Loki some of you might resonate with that um for those who know who Loki is. Um, yeah, oh, Pisces. I like it, though. I really, really fucking like this. Because if they're, if you're dealing with people like that, who are, like, low vibrational or who are pissy at you because you're not staying connected or bonded to them or chained to them, who gives a shit how they see you if you're detaching yourself and going in the right direction, right? Mm. Overall energy, though, which is really interesting. We have the Wheel of Fortune, which is Jupiter energy, and this is in reverse. Underneath that, though, we have the King of Pentacles, which is Taurian energy, could also be Earth or Air. And then we have a Five of Cups underneath that, Scorpionic energy. You doing this, Pisces, to this person is a major injustice. To this person, whoever this King of Pentacles is, that Five of Cups, they're pretty sad about it. They're feeling at a major loss. And Wheel of Fortune in reverse, they just feel like it's unfair. They feel like it's unfair. I also feel like it's causing a little bit of stagnicity in their life. It's almost like they got hit with a two by four. It's like, what the fuck is Pisces doing? How could Pisces do this to me? And keep in mind, guys, it's just the energy I'm picking up. If it's vice versa, it's vice versa. But this is definitely for Pisceans who are dealing with angry, low vibrational people who want you, Pisces, to be chained to them, okay? So keep that in mind. If that's not your situation, then this reading probably isn't for you. Okay, this is definitely for some Pisceans who've got some festery, negative ass, toxic energy trying to keep them back, trying to hold them back. And it's like, no, I refuse. I refuse, I refuse, I refuse. And of course, low vibrational toxic energy would perceive someone like that to be selfish and manipulative. And it's leaving that person feeling like this is a major injustice. You're causing stagnicity in my life. And now I'm really upset. Now I'm really upset. You threw this person for a loop, Pisces. Wow. Sorry, I feel all charged with energy. All right, let's get into this a little bit more. I'm really curious about this tower moment that's happened. I really feel like you have destroyed these chains to start chains to start forging that ace of pentacles for yourself to go into your springtime. Okay, so let's look at the tower in reverse. Um, yeah, I'll use the deck that Tim got me. Thank you, Tim. I really appreciate it. Okay. Hi. New deck, card to shuffle. Tell me about the tower in reverse. Ooh, there we go. Tell me about the tower in reverse for Pisces. Tell me about the tower in reverse for Pisces regarding love. Tell me about the tower in reverse for... Ooh, okay, this card wanted to pop out. Two of wands. Aries energy could also be fire. I mean, duh, it is fire. Sorry, excuse me. Duh. <laughs> 
Pi Pisces, maybe this is your crossroads moment here, okay? Yeah, thank you. They said, yes, yes it is. That's why I was saying, or it could be fire, because you're water. Two of Wands, Aries energy. You know you're at a crossroads of staying at that, wa at that water bank in the snow and getting buried in snow, or you could be warm in springtime. You know you can, and you made the choice. You chose you. You chose a path of abundance. You chose a path of warmth. You chose a path of happiness. You're not going to let yourself stay tethered um, to anyone toxic or to any toxic energy within yourself, okay? Now, this is interesting. So now we have the Two of Cups, soulmate energy, uh, also Cancerian energy, and then we have the Magician. I'm getting used to these cards, guys. Magician. Mercurial energy, so Virgo, Gemini, Phil, Sweet, Aquarius, Scorpio for me as a reader. That same energy that I was picking up for you, Pisces. But remember that you're being perceived as a manipulator and very selfish. But is it really selfish to break bonds from people who are toxic? No. <laughs> no, it's not. But this is you regarding this this connection. And with the Two of Cups, I feel like it's just the connection to this angry wolf energy, this shadow wolf energy. Again, whether it's just one person, many people, or something within yourself, right? You're manifesting the breaking of the bonds there to get to that Two of Wands to go on your, your path, to go on your new path here. Let's see what else we got. Tell me more about the tower in reverse. Tell me more about the tower in reverse. For Pisces regarding love from now to the end of September. Tell me about the tower in reverse. Alright. So I got two other cards out here. Like I said, I'm still getting used to these cards, so give me a minute. Is this swords? Shoot. It's a knight. Uh oh, I might have to pull the book out. I don't speak this language. <laughs> So hold on, give me a second. Where'd the book go? I just saw it, okay. I just wanna make sure I get the suit right. I wanna say it's swords. I wanna say it's swords. But I don't wanna give wrong info, but I'm getting swords off of this. Hold on. Hmm. Come on, help me out here, help me out. Hmm. Hmm. A little more assistance. <laughs> Hang in there with me, guys. Hang in there with me. How do I know which is which? Wait. Uh-oh. Do I got to Google this language? Hold on. Is this Italian? I think it's Italian. Hey. Hmm. I'm going with swords. I can't confirm yet by the book, but I want to say swords. Oh, wait. Oh, are there the suits here? Translation, please? No. No translation. Hmm. I want to say swords, so we're going to go with swords. Because <laughs> I'm feeling swords intuitively, and there was no definition for this one. Okay? Uh, so we have the High Priestess. This is definitely the High Priestess, uh, which is Libra energy, also Taurus energy, divine feminine energy, with the Knight of Swords. Like I said, I'm calling it the Knight of Swords. If you know what this is, by all means, post it down below. Can't say that. De Epi? De Epi? I think that's Italian. I don't, I don't know languages, guys. I only know English, unfortunately. I am an American. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I'm a typical American. Okay. So with this Knight of Swords and this, um, this High Priestess energy, I love that it's the High Priestess energy here because this is someone following their intuition. Pisces, very much you. I feel like this is you communicating to this person or persons or having that, that honest, very honest conversation with yourself of like, this is done. I have to break away. I have to break these bonds. I got shit to do. I got abundance waiting for me. I, I can't I can't stay stay at this water wintry water bank here. I can't. I can't stay at this winter wintry water water bank. That's so hard for me to say. Water bank here because there's a lot of other amazing things in store for me. And you're not afraid to have that conversation. Now overall we do have the nine of cups. Nine of Cups, Pisces, and it is Piscean energy, and it is upright. You're doing what's best for you. You're following your happy place, and you're going to a really, really amazing happy time for yourself, okay? I love that. By the way, Three of Cups at the bottom. Three of Cups at the bottom. Three of Cups and the Nine of Cups, that is a hell of a lot of happiness. That's a lot of happiness. That's a lot of joy. That's a lot of celebration. You're like, damn, this feels good. Three of Cups, I mean, you could be reuniting with someone, not necessarily, but Three of Cups usually indicates social energy of being around other like-minded people, other happy people or person that is like-minded with you and like reveling in your happiness, okay? Now, let's keep it moving to Magician in Reverse. 
I'm excited for this because this is their perception of you, Pisces. So let's get into this. I feel compelled to use Santa Muerte. Let's do it. And then we'll get some advice. Talk about the magician in reverse. Talk about the magician in reverse for Pisces regarding love from now to the end of September. I love, for those of you where this is just pure self growth of having honest conversations with yourself about um, things you need to release, this is big, guys. This is a really big deal, and I know it's not easy, so congratulations to whoever that's for. Tell me about the magician in reverse for Pisces regarding love from now to the end of September. Hi, come on. Thank you. Tell me about magician in reverse. Tell me about magician in reverse. <clears throat> in reverse. <laughs> Tell me about magician in reverse for Pisces regarding love from now to the end of September. Okay. Tell me about the magician in reverse. Tell me about the magician in reverse for Pisces regarding love from now to the end of September. Ooh, that's a lot of cards, but we're gonna take um. God, all these reversals, Pisces. We have the Fool in reverse. Aries energy could also be Aquarius because it's a Uranus card. Seven of Wands in reverse. Leo energy, wow. And Two of Wands in reverse. Aries energy. Someone's feeling like you're making a big fat mistake. That's how someone's seeing you. Like, oh, you want to break away from me? This is, this is for those where it's not just a self-growth thing. Like, this little portion is for those where you're leaving people or a person behind. Someone's literally looking at you like, like you're a fool. They might even say some really hurtful shit to you because that angry wolf imagery was very intense. But yeah, it's like someone wants to tear you down, Pisces. And it's in retaliation. It's in retaliation. It's like, where the fuck do you think you're going? Oh, you think you're going to go off and leave me here? Wow. Someone wants to tear you down, Pisces. Whoever you're leaving behind, even if it's multiple people, it's like they're very angry about it. They're angry that you're choosing you and that you're not going to stay enslaved to their energy. Fuck him. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's how I feel about it. It's like, fuck him. Tell me about Magician in Reverse. Let's see. Wow. Ace of Swords in Reverse here. Wow. Um, yeah, Pisces, I just feel really harsh communication with this. Really angry communication with this. I almost never feel that with the Ace of Swords. But it's you taking on your new beginning. And they're really resentful. Again, this is for those of you where you're, you are not on the self-growth path. If you're on the self-growth path, we pretty much have concluded your reading. Uh, for those where it's just leaving someone or people behind, this is their energy. Like, they really want to tear you down because they're angry. And they see you as being very selfish. I don't... You're doing what's best for you, though. Tell me about Magician in Reverse. And again, if... if Again, for those cross watchers where it's like, if the Pis if it's not your story, then it's not your story, okay? Because this is for Pisceans who've been enslaved to people who are toxic, okay? Tell me about Magician in Reverse. Tell me about Magician in Reverse. Wow. It's so interesting, Pisces, because all your energy is so positive and all the cards are upright, and this person or person's energy, all reversed. All reversed. Judgment in reverse. Fire energy, also scorpionic energy. Again, they feel like you're making a big fat mistake. They might even say, oh, you'll be sorry. They might even like say some bullshit like that or, oh, you'll be back, Pisces. They might even taunt you a little bit here. This is like, the, the, ugh, ugh. <laughs> this is like really gnarly energy. For some of you, this is straight up family. Some of you, this is seriously straight up family who are pissed off at you. How dare they be so selfish as to put themselves first. But overall, justice, Libra energy, it's the right thing, Pisces, and you know it. And then look at that, the star. Aquarian energy, healing and karmic justice. It is exactly what you're supposed to do, Pisces. Spirit is giving you the big thumbs up. Spirit's clapping. Spirit's like, yes, Pisces, thank God you're making the right steps here in breaking these bonds, breaking these chains with that dagger and forging new ones with the Ace of Pentacles springtime that you're coming into. And if this person wants to spew some person or persons, wants to spew some hateful words at you and taunt you and say you're gonna be back and blah, 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 trying to make you feel guilty, trying to make you afraid, it's not gonna work it's not gonna work because you're doing exactly what's best for you you've had that conversation with them and for those on the self growth path you've had the conversations with yourself and you have basically manifested breaking away those bonds to things that don't serve you to people that don't serve you so you can forge amazing connections with people 
Three of Cups and the Nine of Cups that make you incredibly happy. It's beautiful, Pisces. It's beautiful. Yes, will this person throw hate at you? Yes. Or persons. Because, <laughs> uh, again, some of this is straight up family stuff. But it doesn't matter, Pisces. You're headed in a beautiful direction. Beautiful direction. Okay? I love this. All right, let's pull some advice with the Spirit Animal Deck. Any advice for my Pisceans? Any advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Hi, come on. Any advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? And you know it's interesting because Pisces, for some of you who are leaving many people or a person behind, uh, you might not expect this kind of reaction. Like you might expect they won't take it well, but when you really tell them the truth and they lash out like a crazy person, you're gonna be like, oh my God, is that who you've been the whole time? Like some of you are gonna have that response, like, wow, that's who I've really been dealing with. It might open some of your eyes a little bit here. Let's see. Any other advice for my Pisceans? Any other advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Hmm. Any other advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Any other advice? Oh, my Pisces card, Swan Spirit. Time for a deep dive with the energy of 60, breaking down to a six. Total harmony is actually what I'm getting with this. Total harmony and calm and gentility. Gentility is coming in. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at all those flowers. Does that not scream like springtime or summertime? Yeah, Pisces, this is about really going to the deep, dark depths of, depths of yourself to be honest with yourself about these people, this person, or your own little inner shadow wolf here, okay? And you're really being, it's some harsh truth that you're having to come into with this. And for some, you're not reaching it until you do some major cathartic release. That's only for some of you and you'll know who you are. Some of you are already past that part, but some of you are entering that. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, Pisces, this is just being true to yourself, true to who you are and true to your emotions and what truly makes you happy. Even if it's, it's going to the, you know, a little bit of an underworld energy to do it to finally break the chains away from this shadow wolf, okay? All right, Let's see what else we got here. Any other advice for Pisces regarding this spread? Any other advice for Pisces? Ooh, oh, that's funny. So snake just came out, which is like a healing energy, and I just was about to say, I, all of a sudden I felt really intense sadness. <sighs> so snake spirit. Time to heal with the energy of 55 definitely indicative of a tower moment which we had we do we, we do have here whoa it's almost like a face-off whoever the snake is they're feeling pretty sad they're pretty hurt and heartbroken inside and pisces here's you as like the elegant swan with this snake that's like i can't make that sound but i don't know that was my best shot at doing a snake um, <laughs> um this person needs a lot of healing, Pisces, if you're leaving a person or persons behind. For those of you where you're doing some inner work here, it's about addressing that inner shadow wolf, that inner snake, the inner little pissed off snake, the wounded snake, that's really like begging for you to heal it, right? Begging for healing. Wow, yeah. And there's sadness wrapped up in that. So for those where you're leaving a person or persons behind, they're really angry because it's like there's a codependent energy there and I think they're just really hurt. But at the same time, it's very toxic because they want you chained to them because they don't have that self-love for themselves, right? But you got to go on to bigger and better things and you already know that Pisces and you're doing that. For those where you're facing your shadow wolf or your inner wounded snake, whatever you want to call it, your inner wounds, essentially, it's having those really honest conversations with yourself to really tackle that, to heal that right? To heal that, to break those chains from the things that don't serve you, from the wounds that don't serve you anymore, to go on to your springtime, all right? Oh, Pisces, this is such a high priestess card, which did come out for you. Owl Spirit, you see clearly now, 43 breaking down to a seven, getting on your path, leaving that winter bank, going to your ace of pence and going into springtime. You know exactly what you have to do. This is having the intuition, the knowledge, the wisdom, and the courage. I just heard courage uh, to go and do what you got to do. You already know Pisces and you're doing it. At least the Pisces that are resonating with this, you're doing it. And for those who are struggling, here's your advice. Do it. 
any other advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Okay. Oh! <laughs> it's like the most perfect card. Overall, are you ready? Oh, yeah, it's a wolf. I, I heard somebody go, it's a wolf. And I'm like, yep, it's a wolf. <laughs> wolf spirit. Turn knowledge into wisdom. 67, that breaks into a four. And look, underneath that, a manifestation card. Manifestation card, spider spirit, make your dreams real, 56, break it down to 11. Like I said, a lot of you are manifesting the breaking of these change of chains and the forging of new ones to go from winter to spring. Some of you could be dealing with Scorpio. This is my Scorpio card, actually. Not necessarily, but yeah. Oh, uh, you go from that shadow. For those, especially with the inner work, you tackle that shadow wolf, and this is like the light wolf. It's like, it's this is knowledge, this is wisdom, this is like, okay, I've learned my lessons and now I know what I want to manifest and I am going to go into my springtime. Fucking beautiful Pisces. I, I love this read. It was such a spiritual read, by the way, underneath that. Canary spirit, sing your own song. Being true, what did I say? True to who you are, true to what makes you happy. True to what makes you really happy, which for a lot of you is new people or a new relationship or a new you. The three of cups and the nine of cups, that's a hell of a lot of happiness and a lot of joy that you are chasing because you know you deserve it. You know you deserve it. And it's like, it's time to leave the winter bank. It's time to leave that shadow wolf right where they belong and they can't cross. They literally cannot cross. The way they were showing it to me, they can't cross. They're actually like threatening you from across the way, which doesn't that just scream like how toxic that is and how badly it's like, you really can't come with me, right? Person, persons, or the, your own inner shadow wolf there, okay? loved this loved this pisces um i hope you guys enjoyed this don't forget to go on patreon check that out along with instagram facebook and twitter and i will see you guys later namaste pisces